Good morning, first graders. Today, I'm going to be reviewing with you facts, families. Now, think to the beginning of the year, probably during Halloween time or Thanksgiving, and we were doing equations that looked like this. We would have three numbers up on top, and then we had two addition equations and two subtraction equations. And we would use these three numbers to plug in for each of these missing numbers. So let's do this together. Let's see if we can remember, refresh our brains on how we do fact families, okay? Let me just open up my marker. All right, so what two numbers, when you add them together, equal one of these numbers? Now I know what you're thinking, Miss Sherbell, how am I supposed to know that? Well, remember how we talked about with addition, it's two parts, two different parts that make a bigger whole. So when we use it, when we do addition, our bigger number is going to be at the end, right? So out of these three numbers, which one is our biggest? The seven, right? So we're going to take our marker and we're going to put a seven here. So what two numbers, when you add them together, equal seven? Well, let's do our equation. Four, 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 count on three more. Five, six, seven. So three plus four equals seven, right? Just like we just did with our equation. Now you just switch your partners, do our flip-flop, right? So we're not gonna flip-flop our seven right now because seven plus four, does that equal three? Goodness, no. We're gonna switch our partners, our add-ins. So we're gonna take our four, put it first. We're gonna take our three, put it second. And then what's four plus three? Well, four plus three, it's the same. It equals seven, all right? Now we have our subtraction. And our subtraction works a little bit differently. It actually starts with the whole number, the bigger number, and then it takes away a part to equal the other smaller part right? So it's not part, part, whole like addition. It's whole, then you take away a part to equal another part. So like I just said, do you remember which one do we start with? Do we start with the smaller numbers or the bigger number? The bigger number, right? So which one is our bigger number? The seven. So we're going to put our seven up in front, and then it doesn't really matter which one we do next. So I'm gonna say the three. So what's seven take away three? Seven, 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 six, five, four. So that equals four. Now, I didn't really have to do my takeaway like that because you are using these three numbers for fact families. So you know what's going to come next because if we already use the seven and we already use the three, then what's left are four. All right, now let's bring it home. We use our bigger number when we subtract, and we're just gonna flip-flop our parts here. So seven, take away four. We don't even need to do the subtraction equation because what's left are three. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple um, problems on a worksheet, um, and then Mrs. Chestock and I set up a Google slide for you on Google Classroom, so then you guys can actually edit it on um on the google classroom website okay so we're going to do like two or three problems together and then i'll let you go all right i'm gonna make myself actually a little bit bigger all right so i don't want this to trick you up at all okay just because it's a different shape than me holding it up with three numbers in a line it's the same thing it's saying addition and subtraction two numbers equal 13. So there's a nine and there's a four on the bottom and there's a 13. It actually kind of looks like a math mountain, kiddos. So do you remember our math mountains? I'm gonna sketch one up real quick. Do you remember doing this? It's the same thing. It's just instead of circles and lines, it's a triangle, okay? So do not get confused about that. I don't want you to um, give up, okay? Because we've done these for so many, um, so many months and different worksheets that we did, okay? So let's look. There's two addition problems and two subtraction problems. So what two numbers are part, part, whole? 
Well, 9 plus 4 equals 13, right? So 9, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay? And then you switch it up, switch it up, switch your partners. So then it would be 4 plus 9 equals 13, right? And then now that we've done our addition, let's do our subtraction. So I'm actually going to write this just so then we know where, where Mr. Bell is, okay? So I just did the addition, okay? Now we're going to move on to the subtraction. So what comes first, the smaller numbers or the bigger number when you subtract? The bigger number, right? So which one is our bigger number? 13. So 13 take away, well, you could just pick either of the parts, right? It doesn't matter because you're going to use it anyway. You're going to use the next one anyway in the last equation. So let's do 9. 13 take away 9. We don't even need to do it in our brain because we know what's left are 4. All right, now we're going to switch up our parts. All right, so we're not switching up our 13 because our 13 is our bigger number. You can't take away 4 from 9. You can't take away um, 4 from 9. In, it doesn't make any sense because if you said 4, 4, 4, take away 9, that would equal some number that we haven't learned yet. So we're not going to do that. You start with your bigger number when you subtract. So 13 take away 4 equals 9, right? So we switched up our partners for addition, and then we switched up our, our, um, our parts when in subtraction. We didn't switch up our partners here, right? We kept our 13, and then we switched up our smaller parts. All right, let's do the next one. Something popped up. Let me exit out of that. All right. The next one we have is 6, 8, and 2. All right. So while I'm erasing, think in your brains, what two numbers, when you add them together, if out of those three numbers equals that bigger number? What is it? 6 plus 2, right? So we're going to do 6 plus 2 equals 8. And then we're going to switch it up, switch it up, switch up your partners. And then you do 2 plus 6 equals 8. Our part, part, whole, part, part, whole. But now we're getting to subtraction here. Can anyone tell me what goes first? Our smaller number or our bigger number? Our bigger number, right? So... Which one is our bigger number? Two, six, or eight? Eight, right? So eight goes first. And then let's take away two. And what does that equal? What number's left? Our six. All right. Now we're going to keep our eight because it's the bigger number in subtraction. Oh, that looks kind of weird. And then we don't take away two again. We take away six. But it's the same thing. What do you end up with? What number's left? Two. So you're using those same three numbers to do four different equations. Two addition and two subtraction. Okay, let's do one more. All right. So... We have a 7, a 3, and a 10. So what two numbers make that bigger number, our part, part, whole? 7 plus 3 equals 10. And then you switch it up, switch it up. So then you do 3 plus 7 equals 10. Sorry, my 3 looks a little bit weird. And then it's subtraction. What do you start with? What number? Our 10, right? Because it's our bigger number. So you're going to do 10. And then it doesn't really matter which one you take away. 7 equals what? 3. And now you use your 10 again in the beginning because you, for subtraction, you start with the bigger number. 
Then you take away three, because you already took away the seven, and 10 take away three equals seven. All right, so um, what, as I said before, um, Mrs. Chastock and I are gonna post a Google slide for you to fill in. Um, it's gonna look exactly like this. It has the triangles and it has kind of those two, um, those two addition equations and then those two subtraction equations. So it's exactly what you just learned right now. All you gotta do is just fill in on, on the computer. If you don't have a computer, no worries. You can just do what I did, see? Easy. <laughs> All right. Happy facts, families. Bye, guys.